for 90 seconds. Mr. Chairman, I urge the Republicans on the other side of the aisle to stop faking it. We have a bill here that deems this, deems that, and deems the other thing. A bill that deems that the environmental impact statement required by the National Environmental Policy Act is deemed approved. It's not. A bill that says that the requirements of the Endangered Species Act are deemed satisfied and opinion deemed issued. They're not. A bill that says that the required right-of-way and temporary use permit under the Mineral Leasing Act is deemed issued. Not. And a bill that says that the requirements of the Water Pollution Control Act and the Migratory Bird Treating Act are deemed approved and issued. Not. Why are we doing this? While we're at it, why don't we deem a balanced budget? Why don't we deem full employment? Why don't we deem world peace? It's farcical. It's a violation of the separation of powers under the Constitution. It's not our job to deem things. It's our job to pass laws of general application, not favors to foreign oil companies. I yield the gentleman an additional 30 seconds. The gentleman is recognized for an additional 30 seconds. Yes, and having been lectured endlessly by the other side about the perfidy of earmarks, we come across a bill here where, in fact, it's an earmark for a foreign oil corporation. We are issuing to a foreign oil corporation a right-of-way that's valued at millions and millions of dollars. When you tell us that you're not in favor of earmarks, when the other side tells us that they're not in favor of earmarks, stop the hypocrisy.